G'day! In today's video, I'm just going to be replacing the thermal paste on a GT630. What is this one? 4 gig of DDR3 memory. Ooh. Back from a simpler era. And we really don't need much for this one. Four Phillips head screws. One. Two. Three and four. Yeah, there we go. One chip out. As you can see, that is one very small die. I'll give it a quick clean with some tissue paper and some isopropyl alcohol. And this is really not going to need much thermal paste at all. With this one, being it's so low powered, I don't really reckon changing the thermal paste is really going to change anything. But for the sake of preservation of technology, and also when you're selling stuff second hand, you might as well have it in the best condition you can possibly have it in. And that is why I'm currently replacing the thermal paste on it. There we go, nice and clean. Have a look at the heat sink itself. Single sweep should clean this. Okay, two. Done. So if we zoom out slightly, just put some thermal paste on here. Really not a lot's gonna be needed. Compared to most modern stuff. There we go, that should be more than enough. Flip it over. Line up the cooler. The cooler of which weighs virtually nothing. There we go. Push. Release. And even that was too much for it. <laughs> so I'm not too fussed about a little bit down here. But I'll still clean it up. Extra here. There we go. And from here, I'm just going to seal it up. One, two, three. And four. And that's how you can replace the thermal paste on your GT630 by MSI. Anyway, that'll do. See you later.